So in this video, I'm going to be sorting out this very cluttered kitchen corner. I'm a menace for stashing things I can't find places for in little gaps around the house. I have every intention of putting them away, but it never happens. We're going to give this mucky mirror a good clean. It'll stay clean for five seconds, but it'll be nice while it lasts. We're going to give these old sea monkey tubs a good clean. All of the sea monkeys died off over winter. And you're going to really judge me here, but we're going to give this microwave a really good deep clean. So yeah, some really satisfying stuff coming up and I hope you enjoy. So we rarely use the microwave to be honest. Only when we're in a massive rush and I'm just doing a ready meal or something like that. And obviously because I'm in that rush, if something explodes in there, I can't clean it in that moment. I'll make a mental note that I need to get it done and then never get round to it. Is what it is. I'm gross. So I've started off by getting rid of all of the clutter that's been smushed down the side of the microwave. It's a massive eyesore and it winds me up every time I go near the microwave. But have I done anything about it? No, I haven't. And that's because finding homes for all of the little bits and bobs made me want to crawl into a ball and hibernate. Tasks like that that may seem so easy to some people are so overwhelming to me. We're all different, aren't we? But I'm getting it done now and that's the main thing. And I'm going to try my best not to start stashing things there again. And that'll probably mean I'll have to go through all of the Monica Geller drawers and cupboards in my house. So there's space for things like this. But yeah, clutter is my worst enemy. It's because I'm naturally messy and unorganised. Chaos just accumulates around me. But we did a huge declutter this January. And I'm hoping to do a mini one every month just to try and keep on top of it all. My son made this little hedgehog in his first year of school and I absolutely love it. And these are some cherry pits that we saved because he's desperate to grow a fruit tree. Maybe one day when we own our own home and we've got a big garden, that'd be a dream of mine. I tried to wipe my finger across to show you how much grime is on the top of this microwave, but it's literally so sticky on the top of there I couldn't get anything off. Honestly, it was so satisfying to clean it, I had the best time ever. Even though I'm a messy person, I love cleaning. I find it so therapeutic. But there's a big difference between cleaning something and keeping a space tidy. The second one, I'm awful at. So the anti-grease spray wasn't working here. So I went in with some pink stuff and that worked a treat. But anyway, it's half term in Leicestershire. So I wanted to get this done and a big clean around the house. So me and the kids could just spend the whole week chilling. I knew with my eldest being at home all the time, the house was going to get trashed and just descend into absolute chaos. So I thought we might as well start off with a blank canvas because I'm not going to be stressing about cleaning for the entire week. It's all about spending time with the kids while they're home and making memories. And I just let them go feral. We all had a massive bowl of cheese on pasta for breakfast this morning. I want my kids' half terms to be fun and just time where they can wind down and not have to stress about routine or anything like that. And I hope they look back on that time with fond memories. Dinner for breakfast, no bedtimes, late night feasts, staying in their PJs all day. We're going to go on some lovely long walks in nature, visit family. And I do like to plan at least one day out each half term. So this week we're going to go to the farm. We've not been to the farm in such a long time and my youngest, my one-year-old, he's never been before. At the farm we go to, they let the kids go on little tractor rides and my youngest at the moment, he's absolutely obsessed with cars and tractors and all kind of vehicles. So he's going to have the time of his life. But yeah, as a parent, when it comes to half term and things like that, I think it's really, really hard not to feel guilty if you've not planned the week out within an inch of its life. Especially with social media these days. You'll see all these perfect trips and perfect photos and then you'll feel guilty because your family sat there in their PJs at two o'clock in the afternoon. But the thing is, the thing kids really need and want and thrive on is quality time. Your presence, no matter what it is you're doing. So don't let social media make you feel inadequate. Your kids will be having the best time regardless, trust me. Anyway, the microwave's on its way to looking brand new again. Right, I'm curious. Answer me honestly. How often do you clean your microwave? I just want to know if it varies a lot or if I'm just terrible at being an adult. Probably the second one. Oh well, is what it is. I'm good at other things. If you haven't noticed already, this channel is a safe place for messy people. It takes all sorts to make a world and we're all just doing our best. And as I always say in most videos, messiness is not a moral failing. And if someone with a superiority complex tries to make you feel bad, just feel sorry for them. Because people that are happy with themselves and their own lives don't try to make other people feel bad. And I've found trying to explain the way your mind works to people whose minds don't work the same is a pointless endeavour. 
it doesn't work. So there's no point stressing about it. You know your own heart and your intentions and how your mind works. And that's all that matters. The only person you need to answer to is yourself. Honestly, I'm my own harshest critic. And I'm sure that's the same for a lot of you as well. Since starting cleaning videos on social media, I've been working hard on self-improvement in all aspects of my life. And making these videos not only allows me to help others, but it helps to keep me on the ball with things around the house. It's been a really good creative outlet of mine. And it's turned something that I found really monotonous into something fun and something I get excited about. And I'm so pleased and grateful that you guys have been enjoying it too. And yeah, I've literally started saying to people, other people that find it overwhelming to keep on top of the house, start filming yourself. Make videos and see if you can start helping others. It honestly has transformed my life in such a short space of time. And we're on to the countertop. I've been buzzing to get rid of that black smudge. It was from Halloween face paint. And it was so satisfying to clean. Just wait for it. I was expecting the dust and dirt under here to be a lot worse than it was. So that was a pleasant surprise. Or a disappointing surprise, whichever way you want to look at it. Look at that. Ooh. Shall I stop with the sound effects? Okay. By the way, if this is the first time you've ever come across one of my videos, I really do apologise. You're probably here for the motivation and some motivating music and you're like, who is this mad woman and why won't she stop talking? But yeah, I literally do ramble on for the entire video. You don't have any music here. Just little old me and the contents of my brain on the day. I'm actually baffled with how much I can talk on these videos. In real life, I'm quite reserved. And I won't talk your ear off unless I've got something relevant to say. Don't get me wrong, if I'm with my friends, I can talk for Britain. But yeah, if you know me from these videos, I think you'd be pretty shocked to meet me in real life. But we all have so many sides to us, don't we? That's the beauty of being human. We're also very multifaceted. But I do realise I'm not going to be everyone's cup of tea, and that's absolutely fine with me. I'm here to find people that resonate and build a community from there, and to hopefully comfort and motivate people when they're having a bad day. I'm really new to YouTube, I only have a few videos on here so far. I started off on TikTok, and I have the most amazing supportive community going on there, who not only uplift me, but uplift others, and that's what I dreamed of when I started that account. Just a lovely group of people and I'm so, so grateful. And I hope that eventually translates over on this account too. One of my biggest worries when I decided to make this YouTube channel was how to present myself and get my personality across in longer form videos. Because I want the people who watch to get to know me and feel like they're having a chat with a friend. As I said, I want this to be a comfort channel. And it's a lot easier on TikTok because the videos are short and snappy and you can get right into it. At this point, over there, my followers know me, they know my family, a bit of my backstory, my embarrassing moments, my goals in life, all sorts. But we'll get to that point over here too, I'm sure. And as always, if you're one of my lovely TikTok followers watching this right now, I appreciate you so, so much. But yeah, over here, once you get to know me, I'd love to do some daily life vlogs and holiday vlogs and things like that. Not that we go on holiday a lot, I've got about £2 in my bank account right now. But we're going to Cornwall in May, such a gorgeous place and I'd love to share things like that. I also intended when I started this account to be open and authentic when it came to things like growth and money on social media. Not that I make a living on social media, far from it, I work in a supermarket but I like to be transparent. And I do make a little bit of money on the TikTok Creator Fund. It's coming up to six months of me being on there. And I'm going to do a video going into detail about how much I made in those six months, if that's anything you'd be interested in. And look, I'm not going to lie, it's an ultimate dream of mine, as I'm sure it is for most people, to be financially stable and build my dream life. I do not want to live from paycheck to paycheck forever. And I do not intend to worry about money forever. I want to provide a gorgeous life for my children and my partner. And if there's a possibility of being able to do that through social media, I'm going to give it a good crack. And I'd love to take you on that journey. You might see me massively flop, but you never know if you don't put yourself out there and try, do you? I love to watch that kind of stuff on YouTube. Personal growth and building my dream life, that kind of stuff. We love a good success story. And I'm delusional enough to believe mine will be. You've got to back yourself, haven't you? But yeah, I want to be able to pay off my dad's mortgage and get him laser eye surgery and be the reason my mum can retire. And you know what? Life's short, so why not dream big? We've only got one shot at it. And maybe I'm too honest, but I don't think there's anything wrong with sharing that. That was a bit of a ramble, wasn't it? But anyway, 
As I was saying earlier, all of the sea monkeys died off over winter and my son absolutely loves them. So I'm giving it a nice good clean, getting rid of all the algae because you could barely see into the tank before. And then we'll put some fresh water in and some new eggs. Just thought it would be nice to have some life back in the kitchen now the weather's warming up. I'm thinking of repainting the kitchen in the living room too. Give those a new lease of life for springtime. Because honestly, the walls are disgusting. The fingerprints all over them, splashes of food, splashes of mud when the dog's been doing zoomies in the kitchen. Watermarks from me being an idiot and propping the mop up against the wall. It really does look horrible. And the skirting boards need sanding and painting again too. So I think I'm going to do a video of me doing that. I just need to pick the perfect colours. I think I'm going to do a little poll on my TikTok and see what they think. But I'm thinking a nice yellow colour. I've always wanted a yellow kitchen. I've got no idea why, but I just think it would make me so happy. My favourite flowers are sunflowers and daffodils. And I'd love to be able to buy them one morning and put them in my nice yellow kitchen. Mm, but maybe that would be too yellow then. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. Either way, it'll look nicer than it looks now. I am absolutely awful at cleaning glass and windows. I just do not possess the knack for it. Nine times out of ten, it looks worse than it did when I started. But this'll do. It looks all right. And we are so close now to that kitchen corner looking beautiful again. Honestly, it's going to be so nice not to walk in and look at that clutter every day. Just got to put my horrible smart meter back on there. It's constantly beeping and telling us we've spent too much already. But look at this microwave now. It looks brand new again. And I have every intention of keeping it that way. Do I trust myself? Absolutely not. Put the little hedgehog and the sea monkeys back on. And it's looking cute. I'm going to show you a little before and after in a second. I adore this plant. It used to be as tiny as that little stick. And here's the before and the after. How much better does that look? I'm so happy. And don't worry, I'll show you a before and after of inside the microwave as well. Look at that. I am grim. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video and I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And the after is coming up any second. And here it is. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Look at that. Spick and span.